Good morning, afternoon or evening and welcome back to Edenia. My name is Krimi Clown and today we're going to be playing some more Prison Architect. So, um, someone has commented on the last video that I perhaps should do my planning uh, before the episode. And I think that's a great idea because I can be really picky about things. So I'm going to lay down some plans before we get started on the episode. Um, and then I'll just walk you through it instead of showing you things, then rearranging things and then going back on the previous plans and whatnot. So um, yeah, let me just uh, let me just start drawing here and I'll be right back. All right, so thank you, um, Michiel Vervenbos, for that suggestion. Um, really appreciate it. I hadn't thought of that. So let me walk you through. Uh, planning on extending the corridor down here. Uh, this is going to be cell block A. Uh, cell block A is going to house one, two, three, uh, sorry, one, two, three, four, which is eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen prisoners in total, which is two more than we need, but we can use the uh, we can use the income, really. Um, now, this corridor will only be accessible to staff and visitors. Uh, we'll have a visitor station somewhere around here, which is accessible from the... Uh, yeah, from the, uh, the cell block. We'll have a canteen and a kitchen up here. Uh, we'll need a way for staff to travel that way, because we don't want staff going through. So we might want to have all the staff... Uh, things along this line like the kitchen and the visitation and the workshop and whatnot wherever we need staff at some point uh, well, we might want to have it along this corridor and just have the prisoners go up into this reception and never leave this area again so this uh, this wall will all be cells I think that's the best thing we can do for now let's just build this this is going to be the yard and this is going to be a uh, a thorough way for the uh, for the prisoners that don't need to go to the yard. The new prisoners that come from the um, reception go through here and then into their cell block. Uh, there's going to be a door connecting the cell blocks. So yeah, that's uh, basically what we have at the moment. So let's start building. Let's put it on double speed. Uh, we'll have a concrete building right over here. There's going to be a concrete building. This is going to be a foundation as well, all the way up to here. The rest of this is going to be filled in with fences. So let's grab the material and let's have regular chain link fences for here and here and here and here. We'll have some doors, for example a large jail door right here, but apparently that's being blocked by the tree at the moment, so we'll come back to it later. We definitely want to get rid of this tree, because we don't want people knocking down the tree and whatnot and starting a big fuss. We don't want that. We want a jail door here, and we want one here as well. We want a double jail door here. There we go, and they're diligently taking away all the trees and whatnot. It's going to be just fine. So as for boiler, we uh, we were discussing a place for a boiler earlier. Um, we don't have a boiler yet, I think. I don't think we have any hot water, no. So if you want a boiler, I think the best place for it is to have it between these walls because there's no access to it. We'll just have a staff door to access this. Uh, oh, we don't want it there. We want it there, uh, attached to the main pipe. And we'll just have a staff door so that maintenance can come in. I think that's going to be quite satisfactory. Uh, this is nearly built, the cell block, so that's great. Uh, we're getting rid of this tree, we're getting rid of... Uh, oh, we already got rid of this tree, so I can put in the large chill door. Great. And now, if we take a look at what's already been done, I think we can start laying the foundation for... Uh, oh, that's a large pipe that still needs to be installed. All right. Right, um... Yeah, this is going to be uh, just fine. Let's uh, fill in this office because it is the administration office. Uh, we don't really need anything special in here. We just want a office desk. And because it's the administration office, she's going to need a uh, bin. Always a bin. And we need a lot of filing cabinets. So two against this wall, two against this wall. I think 
That's fine. This is going to be the office for the accounting. And we might as well. Uh, oh, we can't just uh, we can't just yet hire one. We have to unlock it through uh, through the warden. So that's good. Uh, this is going to be the staff room. We're not going to fill in the staff room right now, uh, even though we have the money. Uh, we might as well. You know what? Let's just fill in the staff room. We'll have a drinks machine. Uh, and we'll have a drinks machine in this corner as well. And we'll have a drinks machine in the hallway. And we'll have a drinks machine up here. Uh, we'll also have some sofas. Uh, we'll put some uh, in this hallway. If people want to want to relax, uh, they can take a seat in the hallway. There we go. We'll also have a radio in between if they want to listen to some tunes. That's fine. Uh, a radio up here as well. And we'll have a pool table for the staff. There we go. Uh, we'll have some white sofas up against these walls. There we go. And perhaps even one up here. And we'll have a couple of TVs uh, here and there as well. We'll have a TV here. That was a strange sound. I don't know if you could hear that, but it sounded like a, a robot or uh, something. Uh, let's put a TV here as well with a, uh, with a chair in front. There we go. They can watch the TV really close. I don't think that's very good uh, for the eyes. So let's put the TV in the corner and let's, uh, let's not use chairs, shall we? I mean, this is going to be staff lounge. So let's put it like this. They can watch back to back. This is for the for the colleagues that hate each other very much, I believe the warden can't really get along with the accounting agent. And the accounting agent doesn't want to sit next to the warden, so they're going to sit back to back here and watch their own TV shows. There we go. I think that's going to be... Uh, let's put it down there so it's evenly spaced. I think that's going to be quite fine. I think the staff can find their solace here. They can get to rest. So that's one grant in the future that's already done. Which is great. Uh, we need cells, but we're not going to build the cells just yet. We're going to build the framework, though. We need we need some framework. Let's uh, let's finish one cell so we get one prisoner. He's going to be a VIP prisoner. Uh, I'm using brick walls for the prison cells themselves, and that's uh, that's quite fine. We don't uh, we don't mind using brick walls for the cells themselves. Uh, just as long as the walls are all concrete. We want it to be bleak. There we go. So, we built the framework. Uh, this needs some metal detectors, just in case anyone ever goes through this uh, the wrong way. So, we'll have two metal detectors in this hallway. That's fine. Um... We already have metal detectors near the door. We already have metal detectors up here. I don't think we need any metal detectors for the hallway, uh, but we might want some here. So, yeah, that's going to be fine. We need a large jail door there as well. So the cells uh, are made out of brick, just, uh, just to make the prisoners uh, a bit more comfortable, because I think uh, brick is not quite as oppressing as, um, as concrete. There we go, we've got this yard, we do need some grass, and we're going to cancel out a bit of the grass uh, on the edges, and the edges are going to be paving stone, I believe. All concrete tiles, uh, concrete floor is indoors only, I think we're going to use paving stone on the outsides, there we go, a bit of paving stone, I think that's going to look quite nice. So we need to outfit the yard. Uh, we also need some electricity up in here. So we could tap from here. Um, yeah, let's do it like this. We don't need electricity in the yard per se. We'll uh, put this up to here and we'll put this down to there. This boiler needs to be plugged in. And these need to be plugged in as well. Great. So yeah, um, <laughs> we've got quite a bit of grass turf left. I think this is a nice looking yard. We'll put some lights in the corners. These outdoors lights, uh, they don't give as much light as uh, as ordinary lights, but they don't require any power. They are presumably solar powered with enough charge to last through the night, just like these ones, which is good. 
or they're connected to the city network. That's a, a possibility as well. Anyway, uh, a couple of these. It's going to light up the yard real nice. Uh, and let's um, let's install one cell. So let's have a jill door. And let's also have a window. I think it's good to have windows. Uh, we're going to put the bed right up against the door. Because we need that. Uh, we'll have the toilet right next to the headrest. Or should we put it... Yeah, let's put it there. You know what? We can even give them a chair if you want. Uh, cost 30. So they can rest. But they can also rest on the bed. So I don't think it's very necessary at the moment. We might give them a bookcase though. Um, I'll think about it. This is going to be the first cell. There we go. Uh, we'll need some utilities. So let's uh, lay some pipes. It's going to be like this. Because, you know, the um, the waters, uh, the toilets are going to be in this corner all the time. Because we do want them to have a bit of privacy when taking a dump. I mean, there's a lot of things you can demand from a man. And not being able to take a dump in silence is not one of them. So we'll lead this pipe all the way up to here. It's going to be great. And this cell is going to be uh, nearly done. There's no canteens accessible by this cell, that's true. So the first prisoner is going to have a really hard time. Uh, we do need to build this uh, this canteen though. So, yeah, let's take a look. We're going to extend this corridor, I guess. And, yeah, I'm, I'm just thinking how we're going to use this space. Because we don't really have much need for more space. Uh, we should definitely sell some of this wood though. Just to make room in our storage facility. So we can store all the grass turfs and whatnot. Stacks of grass turf. Look at that. We've got a lot of shit. Why is this not connected yet? Oh, because it's uh, it leads all the way up to here. But it doesn't really connect to anything yet. So we'll have it connect from there. That's fine. It's going to be fine. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, design a canteen. So, this is going to be the kitchen, then. Um, our next prisoner is already uh, arriving very soon. Um, so, yeah, we need to get a move on. Uh, this alleyway is currently only protected by a staff door. But just like this alleyway, it's not really the end of the world. Uh, but this kitchen needs to be installed really fast. So, we need, some, uh, we need at least one sink. Let's see how much space is there. There's space for three sinks. Let's have some room in the middle so we can, uh, yeah, so we can put the food through here. Um, let's have a couple cookers. This is going to be quite large cell block, so we might anticipate, we might want to anticipate for the future. So there we go. That's going to be uh, quite the kitchen already. Let's put some lights in. There we go. I think that's going to be quite fine for now. Should we put some tiles in? Uh, some white tiles. White tile kitchen. Yeah, I think that's... I think that's nice. A white tile kitchen. Alright, let's put the utilities through. We need some... Uh, we need some power. There we go. We're going to we're gonna put a main line in here. We'll need some power. And we'll also need some large pipes for the water. There we go. And we'll just have a small pipe going through here and here. There we go. That's quite fine. So there's a kitchen done. We don't have a canteen just yet. Um, also, our next prisoner is coming in. So we might want to get some guards. Uh, oh, we can't hire another guard. Because it's going to exceed our daily budget. So we have to fire some staff. Some hard-working workers. Because we don't have the budget. Sorry. Uh, that's two guards. Uh, we'll have two guards for now. We just need to carry around one prisoner. I, I, oh, yeah, that's the thing as well. All the doors are going to be closed. So you might want some extra guards. And here's a one prisoner. Let's take a look. It's Mr. Parkin. Dan Parkin. Sentenced for arson. All right. Well, get your arse in here. <laughs> Worst joke ever. All right. Uh, don't set anything on fire, please. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a nightmare. So he gets put through the reception, and he's in here. And the guard is gonna give him some uniforms. Gonna search him. We hope. Yeah, there we go. He's being searched, and he's gonna be put into his cell. 
Now, there's a lot of things uh, which are not really up to par because we don't have anything for him to do. Uh, we don't have anything for him to uh, to eat or, or even drink. We don't have anything for him, so we need to get started building that canteen. Now, let's uh, grab the planning again. Uh, let's make this the canteen. I don't know how big this is going to be. We might as well just make it take up the entire space. Uh, we could have a canteen and a common room, for instance. Let you go through the common room to the canteen. I think that's uh, yeah. I think that's going to be quite fine. We'll uh, we'll do something like that. In the meantime, we'll hire the accountant. There we go. This is your little office. And that's one grand completed. Now the only thing we need to do is hire at least two cooks and get the canteen ready and the shower area because we still have, haven't got a shower area. Um, the shower area, where should we put it? That's going to be a that's going to be a thing, right? We'll have some showers in the middle of the yard. Uh, that's fine. They'll have to shower outside for now. But um, yeah, tough luck. We could also convert uh, one cell. Uh, to a small shower room but that's going to be very crowded very soon I mean there's room for six people to shower at the same time so every six cells every five probably we need at least one that's going to be quite demanding uh, and we're not going to meet our cell block A which is the next grant I would like to take uh, oh, we can't even take it because we haven't got basic detention center up and running yet so we'll have to do uh, another one. Uh, staff well-being. Uh, I think... I think we can easily have that. Yes, there we go. That's easy money. We already did that. Um, so yeah, we are... Yeah, we're going to need to build this, uh, this wing first. We'll need the canteen and a common room for later. So let's reserve that space. Um, yeah, let me start planning that out. So, while that's being built, let's take a look at our prisoner. We don't know his needs just yet. Uh, no, we don't know anything about him, really. Um, punishment. He's feeling quite punished. Wow. Alright. Uh, we might need to address that in the near future, but for now, that's fine. Um, by the way, why is this... This is strangely coloured, and I don't really know why. Perhaps it's because I built a foundation instead of uh, instead of just a wall. I've been experimenting with that, and apparently it's not uh, it's not the way to go. This wall can go. This is uh, excess planning. Uh, so perhaps we we might want to bulldoze this area and just put it in a regular wall, uh, just like this area. Um, no, we, do, we don't want to bulldoze this area. So, oh, he's already starting on it. <laughs> All right. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I don't know what's up with these stripes, but I'm not very convinced that it should be like this. Let's, uh, let's try this again. Let's try to put down some normal concrete walls. Let's just see what they're going to do about it. There we go. He's coming out to the uh, staff area. Now, this looks like a normal concrete wall to me. All right. Um, so, perhaps this this is a thing. Uh, oh, right. Today, I learned you can open the doors by right-clicking on the jail door, which is really good. Uh, we can also lock these doors to normal again. I mean, they are done with this part. Uh, we might need to. Um, we might need to. We want to, uh, actually, uh, furnish, uh, put some furniture in here. So let's uh, let's do that. We don't need that big of a canteen. We can have a, a common room uh, in the back here. So this is just going to be for the main cell block. Um, yeah, but, well, we might need to to use the entire space for a canteen. I mean, it's not too crazy to think that we're going to need something like this. Um, yeah, do we, we want uh, we want some jail doors over here and over here so we can make our staff feel safe about crossing this area. And we might want to. No, that's that's fine. We'll have the uh, we'll grab the canteen room. Uh, how large should it be? There's no room requirements. All right. Well, uh, we'll make it a ten by ten. 
and we'll have the rest be uh, rest be common room. Let's see if we can already assign it. Yes, we can. This will be a common room. It will just be uh, adjacent to the canteen. It will not have uh, some room restrictions. It will not have a wall. People can just walk in and out. That's uh, that's going to be quite fine. So let's keep this running. We're going to need some objects. We're going to need some tables, first of all. Serving tables, because that's where the food's going to be on. So here's a serving table. Uh, we might want to put those sideways, uh, just so we can... Ah, that's going to be quite space demanding, right? We could put two, like here. I uh, Yeah, that's going to be fine. We'll put two, like here, and we'll have some tables uh, running against the walls. So how many can we fit in here? I think that if we do it like this, uh, with a bench there, space, and then two benches here, I think we can just about fit some tables in here. It's not going to be the biggest canteen, but it's uh, it's good enough. There we go. Good enough. We'll uh, pull the electrical cable in. All the way up to here somewhere. I think that's going to be quite fine for the lights. And we'll, uh, we'll put some more lights in. I mean, this is 1, 2, 3, 4 spaced. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then up against this wall. It's fine. We'll have some lights. And we'll put some things in the common room, like a pool table uh, right in the middle. That's good. Uh, we'll have some sofas. Uh, oh, perhaps we should... Yeah, we should have chairs, because you know, they're prisoners. We'll have some chairs up against this wall, uh, with the exception of these two, because people need to be pooling here. Uh, we'll have a radio in the middle. And we'll have a TV against this wall and against this wall. And we'll have two more chairs uh, here and here. I think that's going to be fine. Let's have some phone booths as well. There we go. We'll have two phone booths right next to the TV so people can get really annoyed about uh, the sound when they're calling the loved ones and someone just turned on the TV really loud. They can be all sassy about it. I think this is going to be fine. We'll have the lights installed, we'll have the, uh, the electricity installed. Come on, there we go. Alright, we'll have a canteen, so you probably have no complaints anymore. Uh, the prisoner should be in lockup. Where is he? Uh, we can't see because there's no guard anywhere nearby. We've got fog of war uh, on, but we do need deployment uh, sooner rather than later because this is ridiculous. If you can't see what your prisoner's doing, you're really in the dark. Cell quality is 2, it's average. Well, I think we've got uh, quite the basis now. We only need the shower. And we'll, we'll, just, put, uh, we'll just put the shower... Uh, for now, we'll just convert a cell to a shower. This will be the shower room. And it's going to be really tight. And this will be a shower room as well. That's fine. We'll have two shower rooms. Separate showers. So if you don't want to shower with someone you don't like, you don't have to. Because we have thought of the solution for you. You can just go across the hall. We'll have some normal doors in here. Just so they can shower a bit more privately. From shower heads... There we go. This is enough for 12 prisoners to shower at the same time. I think for this cell block that's going to be fine. We'll have some pipes running all the way along here. No one can complain about this now. It's, uh, it's quite nice if I do say so myself. The only prisoner we have is currently sitting on a table. It's great. And he is... Uh, well, he is really... King, king of this country. He's 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 the only prisoner we have. He, he gets all the trades. He gets all all the attention he needs. Shouldn't be complaining about anything, ever. All right. So I can make this a bit wider. Yeah, I can. Great. We can fit this window in here. Let's uh, let's take a look at our new grants. Uh, if these showers are done, we're gonna get the cell block A grant, which we can immediately take as well. And then we should be able to just copy-paste. So let's go. So if we grab the clone tool and we grab this. And we put this here. Put this here. We put this here. We put this here. Uh, this one as well. And this one. And this one. Now those are going to be built. Uh, we do, however, need to duplicate the, uh, the cell on the other side. 
So let's have a light. Let's have a train. Let's have a bed. And let's have a toilet. Now, I don't think we do need uh, anything else at the moment. But we might want to give prisoners uh, a radio or a TV or a bookcase. Demanding, uh, depending on their needs later on. If there's a high demand for literacy, we'll give them all a bookcase, etc, etc. Uh, at first, this will have to do. So we're going to put down a jail door right there. And we'll just have to wait for it to be built. But I think that our workmen are very busy on something else at the moment. <laughs> Which is uh, apparently the... Uh, oh, we can't really see what's going on in here. I don't know if we can sell all of our... Yeah, we can, we can sell the, the wood even though we can't see it. So there we go. We've sold the wood. So we've got more room in storage. Uh, if you plan things accordingly, you don't really need a lot of storage. But uh, in the beginning, yeah, you will have uh, wood lying everywhere if you've got a small storage room. So you might want to think about that. Uh, we also might want to think about outfitting the yard. Uh, we could have some phone booths just uh, spaced evenly. There we go, a couple of phone booths. Uh, we might also want some weight benches. Because we want prisoners to uh, to be able to do something when they're out here. So, uh, yeah, let's have some weight benches here in the middle. Uh, that's fine. We'll also have some around here. Now we could also, if we wanted... Uh, yeah, we'll have some benches. Some benches on this side, on this side. So they can sit somewhere if they want. We'll have some along this fence as well. I mean, that's just perfect. That's a fit. Uh, we can have one in the middle here as well. I think this is the middle. Yeah, this is. Great. We'll have some benches. There's no need for them to uh, to be uncomfortable or to not get their exercise or to not call their loved ones because we have done it all. Um, I don't know what's going on here, but these walls are being replaced with concrete. No, that's not very. No, that's not what we want at all. But of course, we cloned it from. Ah, oh, we cloned it from that bit. All right. Um, we're gonna have to overhaul. We're gonna have to do everything in concrete, if you ask me. Yeah, this is gonna be a mess. We'll do everything in concrete. It's not really what I wanted, but yeah. Well, if cloning is gonna be such a bitch, we'll uh, we'll just fix it. We'll just fix it. Alright, uh, this guy also needs a window out to the yard. Which is a bit frightening, if I do say so myself. Because they can pass things through. If, if this guy on lockdown, they can pass things through from the yard. But we'll have to deal with that bridge when we get there. Uh, so yeah, let's just, uh, let's just make this all concrete, shall we? I mean, it's not that big of a deal. I didn't like the... Uh, I didn't like how it looked anyway. So, <laughs> there you go. All right, looking nicer by the minute. We've got some cells done. We've got five more prisoners arriving. And we're going to stop it right there. So uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, next time we're going to see to it that we get some more grants done. Uh, the first one to get is the cell block A to raise our prisoner capacity to 15. We'll do just that. But for now, uh, I want to say thank you for watching. And uh, if you did like this episode, you are free to press the like button. You don't have to. You are free to do it, but it really helps the channel. And if you did like this episode, you can also press the dislike button. Uh, it doesn't really help me per se, but at least I know you're not liking it. So uh, give me comments if you want me to improve on something. Give me comments if you want to tell me if you enjoyed this series. I really enjoy comments. I read every single one of them. So, uh, yeah, let's just, uh, let's just call it an end there. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again next time. Have a great day.